Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. I uh, wanted to thank everyone for subscribing and for uh, <laughs> being patient while I try to build this little guy out. Uh, I think he's all done now. Uh, I might have a few tweaks or just to make sure I go over a few things. Oh, look at his little cuffling there. There you go. Anyways, uh, yeah, he's a little baby Yodi uh, puppet. All set and done. He can sit and stand for pictures or if you want to put him a little basket thingy the client wanted to uh, have it have this little thing be a little bit more versatile and so uh, I'm doing this in front of a mirror so because I'm gonna be having I'm gonna hold this guy up and he'll be um, uh, he's gonna be a little bit too close to the camera so I want to make sure you still be able to see the functionality in this little guy but uh, his ears move again his eyes move his mouth uh, his uh, his hand can grip and yeah, you can kind of move things around. I try to hide everything within the coat itself. So a lot of uh, some of his triggers in this little guy is uh, underneath the cape or hidden with some of the fabric that that matches everything else. So you have right in here uh, triggers for the fingers. And you can kind of put your hand in, in there. But basically when you're holding this guy, you hold him like a little baby or right in front of you. And uh, I did this for uh, the client who was right-handed, so he'd be able to put his hand inside, right-handed. Here you see the three triggers, one, two, three. Uh, and these triggers are the ears, mouth, and eyes. So you can put your hands in there. And then you need to put your hand in a loop here, or you can put your hand on, the, on his little tukis. Let's see if I can <laughs> show you. Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, there you go. So usually I do that. I kind of able to grip with one hand and hold them up. And if you uh, have them close, then it's no, I'll show you like this. Boom. So if you have them close, da -da -da -da, he's right there, and then you can kind of make him do a few gestures and look around. And you can hold his hand holding something, and kind of just move him around. You can put him on your, put the other hand underneath him to kind of set him a certain direction and make him react to certain things in front of you. Um, it'll take time to kind of figure out the, uh, you know, a lot of expressions like happy, you know, hey, he's happy. Um, when he's sad, his ears will go down and his smile will go away and his eyes will go lower. So it's kind of a, kind of like a, you have to kind of play with it a little bit. Um, I finished airbrushing him to kind of deepen those uh, tones, those colors of his wrinkles, his rosy cheeks, his eyes, his ears, his hands. So to, sh to do the hands, right? Let's get his coat down, right? So we got his arm right here. We got this arm here, but then basically you'd reach down underneath. And depending on your left hand or right handed, I ended up making this uh, controller here a uh, reversible. So if you had to switch it out, then you can actually take this piece off. I don't know if I'm doing this right. You can p take this piece off and put it on the other side and then you can reverse the, the, the position of things. But basically, if I can do this correctly, I can grip the controller with my other hand. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. <laughs> there, I have it in there. So like, watch his hand now. See his hand? You can play air guitar. Right, do it. <laughs> or if uh, someone wants to shake his hand, uh, you can have him grip the hand. If you if you want him to uh, agree with you, he can look at you and give you a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not too hard to pull. That was kind of one of the things I wanted to make sure that it was working. So you can kind of have him two-handed like this, walking around, and he can kind of do his little gestures and moves and look look at the crowd and react to something and laugh or, you know, <laughs> you know. It's uh, just a fun little guy. Uh, I have this little keychain thing that I, I'm going to go ahead and give to the client since I'm not using it. Just kind of put the whole thing together. Isn't that cute? Don't you like that? It's nice, huh? There you go. And so, yeah, it, it's all it's all said and done here. So basically, I have to just ship it off to the uh, client and hopefully they have a good time with this little guy. Um, but yeah, there he is. So I'm just going to do a little couple of videos of, or a little bit of a, uh, visuals here he's wearing he's got a little space brown underwear on uh again his legs pivot so you can see how he can shoot back and forth 
just like that. I opened up the jacket here. Usually in a lot of pictures his jacket's completely closed, but because his legs need to be lifted up and down, uh, a little bit of space helps out for that. Um, this hand I can actually grip a little bit too. If you uh, if you pull the little string here too, you can he can do a little bit of a grip. But uh, since it's it's hard to control all those triggers onto one hand, uh, this is kind of like a um, a low priority hand grip. The other one's so much easier to use because every single trigger is on a different finger. See, I got a little, here's like the middle finger right there. I pull that trigger and the finger moves. A quick look at the eyes. Again with the mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Who's that? <laughs> and then, of course, his ears, which is, I think, the most, this is the cutest part of, it, of him, being able to react with those ears. And there you go. So, this build took way longer than I would like it to, to take, but, you know, it's uh, it was good practice. You know, my mascot building skills, my costume building skills will just get better and better with this little guy, you know, the way that he is. Uh, was able to give me quite a challenge here, but uh, yeah, all done now. We gotta say goodbye. Bye, <laughs> and, and thank you everybody for uh, staying tuned and uh, for uh, it, you know sending me questions because I, I love answering questions. Um, I get requests all the time to build new things, and uh, sometimes I have I, I get the time to do it, and sometimes I don't, and so. Uh, I thank you all for, for, again, for being patient with me. So uh, let's put that little guy down. <laughs> and that's it. So uh, you guys have a great day. Stay healthy, you know, and uh, um, we'll see you next time.